Welcome back. So in this session, we will see one of the Selenium 4 feature that is uh, how can we mock the geolocation or the time zone. Okay, so we have discussed a few of the Chrome DevTools features in our previous session. So it's basically what exactly we can do with respect to the Chrome DevTools. So when you click on the inspect element or the developer tool, so you will be getting some tabs there like uh, your element tab, network tab, security, application so all those tabs are there so now selenium 4 is providing a way to handle or automate or emulate those kind of stuff in that so among those one of the interesting is uh, how can we mock the geolocation or the time zone now the question comes why do we need this geolocation mocking or the time zones so we have already discussed in our previous se previous session but uh, uh, the, in this session we will be uh, going into details about the code implementation and also the need of this mocking okay so geolocations are basically required because let's say that your application has some features where depending on your current location i mean the application behaves differently let's say that uh, you are uh, you are searching for a particular address to uh, for your office location let's say and now so the office is located across different countries now uh, so let's say that if I am in India, then India specific addresses it should show. Now, if you are in Singapore, then it should show the Singapore specific uh, location because so that you need not to go there and search for a country and then your city and then it will list out that particular address. The same thing. Now, let's talk about time zones. There are specific applications which behaves differently. Let's say it is calculating based on some timings. Now let's talk about the time zones. Now time zones are basically again it is similar to the geolocation but in a way it is differing. Let's say that if your application shows the day or night if that uh, if today is um, if the current uh, situation is a daytime or a night time or let's say it is calculating based on some current timings. So in that case you need to emulate that time zone so that you can validate the functionalities of your application. So in that scenario scenario you cannot go to different location or you cannot keep your uh, like uh, what you call the automation analyst in each of those locations to verify that instead of that what we can do we can emulate ourselves or emulate in such a way that we can uh, mock that particular location and then validate whether the application is reacting properly or not okay so for that selenium 4 is providing certain features and uh, so we will be seeing how can we mock the geolocation and time zone so let's see the code implementation so for that let's switch over to the IntelliJ so for this I have created a new class emulate geo uh, underscore time zone so here we will be seeing two different things first is the geolocation and second thing is that a time zone so for this let me first get the initial setup for this that is nothing but the before method I have already that so let me just copy paste so this is my initial setup so for this let me just uh, create a local variable here and for dev tools as well let's create another object dev tools dev tools so as we uh, as we know that this dev tools is coming from the chromium so it means that whenever you are using any of your driver you have to cast it to the chrome driver because um, chromium driver basically gives two subclasses one is your uh, chrome driver and edge driver so only with these two drivers only you can handle this uh, dev tools and then i am calling that get dev tools so it will give me the dev tools object and then here i am not going to launch any of the browser even this is not required okay so let's put like this no problem and here let's create a local variable okay fine so this is all done here now let's do one thing now first test actually we need to emulate the geolocation so for that again I have a code base let me copy paste that one so if you see this is the code base for this let's go one by one so there is one application uh, this is the internet heroku app by dave and then it is giving me uh, let me go to this one for more clarification and if i click on this uh, let me allow it 
and so you can see the latitude and longitude of the current location where I am at so it is giving me the details about that now what we are going to do we will be mocking this particular application or our uh, geolocation to something else so that that will be populating here so some other location we are planning to uh, mock or emulate right so for that what happened I have taken a uh, latitude and longitude so this is some latitude and longitude it seems like this is uh, from Chicago location so I'm giving accuracy as one so accuracy is basically how much accuracy it will be giving you whether it is close enough to that longitude and latitude or it is like spread it across so those kind of stuff uh, you can give with respect to this accuracy and then here if you see I'm making a map actually string object map and this one I am keeping into a new stuff so this is nothing but my execute CDP commands so CDP stands for Chrome DevTools protocol commands so this Chrome driver exposes a method that is execute CDP command and this basically accepts a key value pair so if you see this is the command name that you need to give and the actual parameters that this command can take over okay so this param is nothing but the longitude and latitude and then this is emulation is in uh, oh I mean what do you call it? if you go to this location let me go to this location so this gives uh, um, all the emulation commands or the methods those are available so you can see here so emulation dot set time zone override set scroll bar see hidden so all those things you can emulate so these are the objects it is giving and those objects you can keep it here and the name suggests set geolocation override it will override your current location with respect to the parameter that you are sending and then after that we are just waiting for that um, where uh, button actually and once it is found just click on that so that we can see this particular param which we have sent it okay so first it will give me the current location then it will mock by using this execute CDP command okay so let me quickly run this one so it is waiting for that where button and this is my current after some time yes as you can see it is giving the another longitude and latitude and then it quits the browser okay that's it that's how simple it one now let's say that your application is giving different addresses so you have to go to specific uh, what do you call it, URL of your application which takes your current location and then gives you that address right so first you need to execute this particular uh, first you have to write this one actually the parameters the map declaration and this execute CTP command and then you have to navigate to that particular uh, URL so that it can pick it up that uh, mocked uh, longitude and latitude right then you can see whatever like okay this address is based on Singapore US or wherever it is there you can just identify and then compare by putting some assertions the same thing let's see another example let me copy paste that code as well so this is another example uh, website that is my current location dot net so if I go so this website is bit slow but still it can mock this stuff with selenium 4 let's go so as you can see it is giving the location uh, so it is taking some time and then it will give you the proper location and let me allow here okay so it is giving some locations uh, based on India okay now if I uh, so I will mock it up with something else okay so let me do one thing so let me so what I'm going to do so I have this one longitude and latitude which I want to what do you call mock it by using the same concept like whatever we have seen in the previous example this is just another uh, what do you call website itself so first I'm uh, calling that uh, I mean what do you call that website which will give me the current location after that it will go it will uh, execute the CDP command with the mocked latitude longitude and then it will be again navigating to that particular location to give me the updated location okay so let me run this one and you can like assert it okay this longitude latitude should relate to this city country or something to verify whether this mock is done or not okay so it is giving me some location based on India and then it will now change to another location
okay you can see it is giving to united states and the accuracy is one one meter actually you can see because i have provided here that accuracy so that's how you can verify now you can verify you can capture that text of that country and then verify whether this country is related to us or not that's how you can mock it up okay so that, that's pretty simple actually you have to just provide parameters and then pass it along with the execute cdp command and then the rest things will be depending on your functionalities okay so now let's see how can we mock the time zones okay like we have already discussed about why do we need this time zone mocking so wherever it is required you can just implement that so for this again let me copy paste the code base okay so let me go to this particular uh, demo url so as you can see this is a simple website which is giving you the current look current time zone actually so as you can see it is giving the indian standard time now you can mock it to change change to any of the location based on asia specific or africa specific or else any of the continents you can just uh, mock it up okay and then you can verify that the time is proper or not or else uh, like it is india based so that's why india so you can capture this text and then whichever let's say that if i am uh, mocking it up singapore location then after i will be mocking up and then navigate to this url i can capture this text and i can say that whether it is matching to the singapore or not so those kind of verifications you can do it so let's see how we are implementing that one okay so here what i'm doing first i'm navigating to this url so that i will be seeing the current time zone after that and waiting for some time and then i am creating a session so i am creating a session instance with the dev tools after that what i'm doing like there we were creating a map right with the string object the same thing i'm using but this time instead of longitude latitude i am using this time zone id actually so this time zone id will be taking the continent and the city or the country yes it is the country actually so continent and then the city so if you want to see the list of uh, uh, all the time zone ids uh, it is in wikipedia you can just go over this one so here you can see africa specific all the countries and then you have america specific so all of this and then you will have something uh, asia specific you can see so any of the uh, okay so these are the cities actually not the countries so as you can see asia and then if you colombo dhaka this is ba bangladesh based and then we have a uh, hong kong and then we have some specific uh, uh, Kathmandu and all those things so you can just copy paste this one and then put it across this uh, map and then you are done now before to that what we need to do we need to enable the network actually so that it will be connecting that session okay so network is providing so network is a class again so this provides a method that is enable and i don't want to pass any of the parameters here if you see this enable so this is giving three parameters so if i go here you can see the max buffer uh, the max total buffer size max resource buffer size max post data size so we are not worrying about any of these parameters uh, so you can give anything or else you can keep it as empty as well so network dot enable you need to do so that the network will be enabled the network tab will be enabled on your chrome dev tools and then after that you need to execute the cdp command and then we have already seen the emulation commands whatever it is there or the objects so like the way we were doing here set geolocation override the same thing you are getting another object that is set time zone override and then you have to pass that parameter like whichever uh, the time zone you want to set it up and then i mean uh, i have enabled my network i have mocked that particular uh, whatever that location or the city then i am opening that website whatever your uh, website is there then it will pick it up this specific uh, what you call time zone which you have provided and then you can do some verification so at this moment i am just getting that text to verify it so let's see that let me open this one i mean let me run this one So as you can see initially India standard time 
and then it is converting to the Singapore standard time and then if uh, because I have uh, enabled this uh, create session right that's why you are getting all of these uh, what you call the network responses whatever you are getting so these things I mean if it is required you can just see these are just the what you call logs that is generating on your dev tools so to kind of debug it you can just see all these things like you can see whatever parameters we have sent here so all those things you can verify it and at the end it is giving the text which we have done by using the get text method right at the end and like with respect to your application you can just validate whatever it is required so these are really cool features with respect to the selenium 4 i mean i have only listed out these three demo sites but yes there are a lot of different websites are there or demo sites are there you can just go into those things and then see how that works with respect to your um, uh, what you call code base okay so that's pretty much it for today's session now uh, hope this helps so do subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't because we will be discussing some more features regarding the selenium 4 and also selenium java related different uh, what you call topics so stay tuned and thank you for watching